Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our series, which I have tentatively titled, Why is my check engine light on? What's wrong with my car? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to properly figure out what's going on with your car when using a scan tool. Now, if you don't have a scan tool, I'm gonna to strongly recommend you pick one up. They still are available on eBay, and you can pick them up for under $200. But if you do, just make sure that they, one, are not a code reader and can actually read live engine data from the ECM, and two, that they are OBD-1 compatible. OBD-1 is the system that was used in all cars prior to 1995. Most code readers on the market today are only OBD-2 compatible, which means they will only work with cars newer than 1995. So double check, read the description, and make sure you get the right item. So if you like what you see and you wanna follow on with the series, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Please like the video as well so that it gets out to as many people as they can who are having these types of problems with these cars. All right, the first step before we even pick up our scan tool is to make sure our ECM is working properly. So we're gonna turn the ignition on, which I've already done, and verify that we have a steady check engine light. We're then gonna take our paper clip, ground the diagnostic terminal, and make sure that we get a code 12 to flash. One, one, two. That's a code 12. One, one, two. The code will flash three times. Then we'll get any additional codes that are stored. There's the last code 12. And code 12 again. So it looks like we have no additional codes stored at this time. Now we'll move on to step tool, which means hooking up our scan tool. Okay, now in step one, we verified that the ECM is working properly by getting a code 12. If you don't get a code 12, you get a flashing light. The check engine light is on steady, even when the terminal is grounded. You've probably got a problem with the wiring leading to your ECM or, C or the ECM itself. So you wanna start checking there. All right, but we don't in this case. So we're gonna turn on our scan tool. Scan for codes. Take a look at our data. Scan tool says we've got no trouble codes stored, which is a good thing. If we did have trouble codes stored, we would start diagnosing there. Okay guys, that's it. Easy as can be when you own a scan tool. That's why I strongly recommend you pick one up no matter what kind of car you're working on. All right, if you like the video, please like it so more people can see it. If you want to follow along this, with the series, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. In the next video, I'm going to sh be showing you how to do a system performance check, which will let us figure out if the carburetor is able to properly regulate the fuel air mixture going into the engine. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.